Hi, my name's Lucy. Um, I'm an educational mental health practitioner and I'm going to be delivering a short video based on anxiety within children um, under the current climate of COVID-19. So what is anxiety? Anxiety is when um, you might worry lots about a particular thing and it can uh, make you feel quite overwhelmed and it might also give you um, a sense of panic, which isn't always that pleasant. So children are going to be worried about very different things at different stages of their development. But overall, younger children tend to be more worried about ghosts and monsters and robbers and things like that. They find that really frightening. Um, and teenagers are more likely to be worried about social situations and friendships and relationships and, uh, you know, what people might think of them. Uh, schoolwork is also something that teenagers might um, be quite anxious about. Um. Under the current climate of uh, COVID-19, there are also going to be added anxieties to that. So children might be worried about the virus itself. Um, they might be worried about picking it up and carrying it to, um, you know, people that they care about. They might be worried about them picking up the virus and getting ill or family members getting ill. Um, and then, you know, they might worry about what might happen if someone does get ill with coronavirus. Now the lockdown exit plan is also in place. Um, this might also cause children to worry a little bit more about things like going back to school. So under normal circumstances, children would worry about going back to school anyway after being off for such a long time, say over the six weeks holidays. Um, but with us, you know, being at home for such a long time because of the outbreak of coronavirus, um, it means that going back is probably going to be even more difficult for them right now. Uh, children might also worry about um, their schoolwork. Um, so, you know, now that they're doing work from home, they might worry um, that they're not going to get the work in on time. They might wor worry about the quantity of work that they've got um, sent and, you know, getting that complete. Um, they might worry that their work's not good enough. Um, there are lots and lots of different things that, you know, they might be anxious about in terms of schoolwork. They might also be worried about the long-term impacts um, this might have on school. So for instance, predicted grades, and um, they might be worried about what might happen with that and what, what they might be predicted. Um, they might be worried about even getting pushed back a year um, and things like that. Also, there are lots of difficulties that might be going on within the home. So, you know, there are people out of jobs um, and income can be a bit of an issue. And that can be really concerning for um, parents and, you know, everyone. So um, children might pick up on those worries and also worry about that too. Also, being at home in general is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a change. It's really challenging to be at home all the time around your family. It's different when you're around them all of the time. So dynamics within the family home might be different, um, you know, relationships might be uh, different. They, they might find that they're arguing with family members more, which is very normal when you're around each other such a lot. Um, but, you know, that could cause them some anxiety. So overall, there are lots and lots of um, things that children might be worried about now, um, more so than they were before. And that's completely normal due to the current climate that we're in with COVID-19 and all the changes that have happened surrounding that. So a lot of children who are struggling with anxiety um, might encounter like physical symptoms of anxiety. So you might um, hear them talking about having lots of headaches, having lots of tummy aches, um, and that is a normal response if a child's feeling particularly anxious. They might also complain of muscle tension. They might be feeling tense. Uh, their appetite might change. So you might find that they're um, either, you know, not eating as much as they used to, or sometimes they might overeat. And that can vary from day to day as well. Sleep is also something that children might be struggling with right now, um, especially, you know, while we're all at home and our routines are a little bit out of sync. So you might find that, you know, children are going to bed a little bit later than they're used to. They might be struggling to get up on a the morning. Their concentration might be off. So when they're doing their schoolwork, um, you might find that they might be procrastinating a little bit, you know, and that they might not be on focus as they maybe, you know, uh, usually are in school. You might find also that children um, avoid doing certain things. So, you know, if they're anxious about their schoolwork, they might not get on with it. They might put it off and, um, you know, make up excuses and things like that. They might also be quite irritable, uh, which, you know, is challenging when you're around it all of the time. But that's a very co common symptom of you know, anxiety, and it's just their way of expressing expressing that. They might also be quite disobedient, 
um, and refuse to do certain things that you've asked. That's also an, another symptom that you might recognise. Reassurance seeking is something um, that you also might notice your child doing. So they might ask lots and lots of questions about something. Um, they might also um, talk about the same topics over and over again, um, which would be a sign that they might be worried about that. All children differ and every single child is going to be slightly worried about, um, you know, about different things and they're going to communicate that in a different way as well. So what you might see in one child is not what you would see in another, um, which is extremely important to kind of recognise, especially if you've got more than one child. They might have, you know, completely different behaviours, um, but it might still come down to the fact that they are feeling quite anxious about everything at the moment. So now I thought we'd move on to a few top tips that might help you support your child with anxiety within the home at the moment. So one thing is kind of recognising that certain conversations, um, you know, adult conversations might be best had, you know, when children out of earshot, maybe in bed, at the same time, it's really important to make sure that, you know, you do talk about um, COVID-19 to your child, especially, you know, if they're asking about it, but make sure that the information you're giving them is age appropriate. Also, it's probably important to point out that a lot of things, say, on Facebook and on social media might not be accurate. So trying to monitor that can be really helpful and giving them, you know, the, the facts. At the moment, routines might be a little bit out of sync, but it's really important to try and keep that on track as much as possible and create some sort of structure into their day. Um, this will also help prepare for going back to school as well. An important point is to just have fun with your child um, and make the most out of the time that you've got at home with them and um, spend some time with them, uh, you know, do fun things together, whatever that be, whether it be, you know, cooking together or baking together or playing some sports out, outside in the garden, um, but just really make the most of the time that we've got while it lasts. Validating your child and acknowledging um, that they might be worried about things uh, can be really helpful. So um, saying something like, you know, I understand that you're really, really worried about that and that must be really difficult for you right now. Um, just so that they feel listened to and understood and that can really make a huge difference when a child is feeling anxious. Just be patient with your child as much as you can with the things that they find difficult. It can be really challenging when you're trying your best to get your, you know, your child out of bed and it's taking half an hour, even an hour. Um, or, you know, if you're asking them to get on with their schoolwork and they keep scrolling on, you know, Instagram and things. Uh, that can be really challenging as a, pa a parent, but just try and acknowledge, you know, that it is difficult for them. They're trying their best um, and to just be as patient as possible. Finally, just be patient with yourself um, and look after your own mental health and your own well-being. We all do that in different ways. So you might go for a run, you might do some yoga, you might have a chat with friends, call your mum, whatever it may be. Um, you make sure that you factor in that into your day. So right now, um, with everything happening in the world with COVID-19, anxiety in children is expected and it's very, very normal. The circumstances we're facing as a nation is really, really challenging um, and there's lots of change that's happened in such a short space of time, which is difficult for anyone to adjust to. But hopefully this video has given you a bit of insight into, you know, the things that you might notice in your child, the things that they might be worried about and, you know, a few ways that you can manage that.